welcome back. We are here with uh, Mr. Jose Colaferro. He has just been part of a session with the topic outbound from America to Latin America. Welcome to Rare PV TV and thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Well, um, as mentioned already, you have been part of this session and you have held a speech regarding this topic. Can you give us a brief description, a brief abstract of your speech? Okay, so basically my speech was about the Latin America country, more specifically Brazil. Uh, I, I, I'm a business entrepreneur in there, a solar entrepreneur. So what I tried to put in there was my experiences and what we're living and facing today as challenges and opportunities. So basically Brazil is going to be a big market for sure in the future. But for that we have to make things happen. Uh, more act actively, we need investment, we need new companies to get there and to actually uh, interact with the Brazilian market in a much more aggressive way. We just got an net metering regulation uh, now in April, so uh, in December this year it's going to be fully running and we expect 2013 to be a much better year than all the other ones before. So basically, I think it's an optimistic point of view. I think Brazil is going to be a really big market. We just have to wait uh, and actively work for it to happen. Is this also an invitation for foreign companies to invest, to come to Brazil and invest there? Yeah, there, are, there, are, there is a lot of foreign companies actively searching for good opportunities over there. Brazil is uh, the sixth uh, biggest world economy, so we get we got everything to be a big market as uh, other com uh, emerging solar countries will be too. Is Brazil currently leading uh, the leading country in Latin America as far as uh, solar energy is concerned? No, to be really straight with you, no. Uh, basically, what, uh, the, the leading country today is Mexico. I guess Brazil and Chile are in the second place competing. Uh, Brazil's got the net metering regulation, watch what Chile doesn't yet. So I think Brazil is the second best ma market in terms of uh, preparation and legislation ground in Latin America. What will the Brazilian solar industry or solar market look like in five years? That's a tough question actually, but I guess um, we got the stru st structural uh, reasons for a PV market to grow organically that are basically high energy prices, high radiation rates. Uh, so I think uh, we got everything to uh, to to have maybe a one gigawatt market in five years, thinking optimistically, of course. And can you give us a prognosis about the solar market in Latin America? Uh, in Latin America, I think Latin America has got all these the, the things I, I told you. It's got high energy prices, a lot of solar radiation, but uh, there's a thing really important component in this. Uh, and the whole thing that is the legislation and uh, some countries are struggling to approve net metering tariffs or uh, feeding tariffs to subsidize solar but not many of them are are succeeding on that so at least I don't see uh, solar being really big in the neck in the medium term but I think Brazil is a really important player in the Latin American market. So once the market in Brazil starts going, I think all the other countries may follow along and get it as an example. That's why we have to do things right there to set an example, right? During the session, you said that uh, Brazil's energy comes per for comes from renewable energies by 85 percent. But does Brazil still need? PV energy? Yeah, Brazil still need PV energy basically because we're going to have a 47% growth in the installed capacity till 2020. So how we're going to uh, make uh, those 
uh, this this growth uh, is still to be known. Basically, in Brazil, we have like those huge um, constructions, uh, hydroelectrical constructions that are environmentally. Uh, doubtful, you know, there are a lot of protests and things like that. So probably Brazil is, is going to struggle to build new ones like that. So we have to find new ways to produce energy in Brazil because we're going to need it. So solar is the perfect solution, right? With all the others like wind and uh, 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 biomass, for instance. Okay, thank you very much, Orbedo. Obrigado, Obrigado. Senor uh, José Colaferro. <laughs> Thank you.